yours. And I'll find a way to help you. I don't need your help. Hello? The killer came for me. You want my help? Bring me a fix for whatever you poison Henry with. We have to get to Anastasia before Ivy does. She's waking up. Be thought to me. There's nothing left to say. I really, really like this trailer. For one thing, it had a lot of great sequences from both the past and present, which is needed for Once Upon a Time because, you know, there's two congruent storylines at least going on at once. And to have a, um, a trailer that shows us both is awesome. And the trailer gave us some really cool money shots. Normally TV trailers might only have one or two money shots. This had a lot. So this trailer is a five out of five for me because it hyped me up and it essentially had the three things I look for in a Once Upon a Time trailer review. Now, it looks like in the past we're going to see Drizella and Regina go at it, which I think is going to be really fun. You know, they have a history. I want to see more of it fleshed out. And then in the present, it looks like Drizella versus Anastasia is going to happen. And at the end of the trailer, granted Gothel was cut off. We saw a very quick shot of Gothel, Samdi, Ivy, and Anastasia all at once. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see all the magic that's going to be going down in this episode. Plus, you also have Basilia and Gothel in one area, which we haven't seen and um in any episode yet so i really like that now um the killer is going after ivy which makes sense hopefully the killer's identity will be revealed in this episode they said the identity of the killer wasn't going to be like a super drawn up mystery so i have a feeling that he might or she might be revealed which is cool because ivy's so scared of getting killed because her magic is gone she goes to regina and says uh help me and ronnie slash regina is like I'll help you if you help me, which is help me save Henry. And um, I think Ivy's going to help save Henry because I think Ivy really does like Henry. These seem very close in every episode we have um, watched them in. Plus, they also have a much better chemistry than uh, Donya Ramirez and Andrew J. West. So I really hope that Ivy will give Regina a cure, if there is a cure, for his poisoned heart. So I'm looking forward to this episode so much. I also want to finally see more of this Coven of the Ape be revealed. Maybe we'll get another witch. I want to see Gothel and Cilia go at it at some point. And I want to know what's going to be going on with Anastasia and Drizella. Uh, because this is Adelaide Kane's last episode, as far as we know, unless she has a surprise appearance later on in the show, it looks like she might die or she might, you know, uh, leave. But um, I doubt she'll leave. I feel like they're going to kill her, which is sad because she's such a great actress and Drizella's kind of like Regina version 2, which I thought was which I was totally fine with, um, but at the same time I wasn't. It was like a mixed bag. It's because I really love the character of Drizella on the show. I really love the way Adelaide Kane uh, portrayed her, but I wasn't a major fan of copying over old storylines. But point being is, because I got so attached to the character and the actress, I'm sad to see her go if she does, in fact, go. And uh, overall, I'm really looking forward to this episode and uh, what we're going to see with it. What do you guys think is going to happen in the past with with uh, Regina and Drizella? And what do you think is going to be going on with the killer and Ivy and Ronnie? Also, um, because, she, like I said, it's um, Drizella versus Anastasia in the present, Rumpel is saying to Regina, you know, we can't let Drizella get after Anastasia because we can't let anything bad happen to her right now. So I wonder if Rumpelstiltskin will have some interaction as well. But what I also really, and I've said this already, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I really want to see Gothel and Vasilie go at it. Because Gothel is supposed to be the big bad, and Vasilie is kind of like an anti-hero-esque thing, but even though he's going after Rumpelstiltskin, who's a good guy-esque. So there's a lot of drama, and I love drama, and I love action, I love magic. So this trailer is essentially um, giving me hope that all that will happen, and I really hope it does. And also just the money shots were so fantastic. So anyway, do you think Henry will be cured? What do you think is going to be happening in the present? And what do you think is going to be happening in the past? What are your predictions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching my review of the trailer. I thought it was awesome. And I will cover the sneak peek when it airs on Friday, probably, which sucks next Friday. Um, oh, last thing I wanted to quickly um, mention. I really think that all the trailers for Once Upon a Time should have been done like this for this season. Because... You know, when you had the trailer for The Girl in the Tower, it only had the one sequence, as I mentioned. And it made me kind of like, what's going to be going on with, with this? Like, it made me dislike the, trail, the trailer a little bit. And then it made me think, you know, this episode's girl, The Girl in the Tower, yet none of these characters hyped up in this trailer are The Girl in the Tower. But with Sisterhood, you know, you see, you know, the sister set. You know, you see Drizella and Anastasia. Zelina was in the trailer, but this episode probably isn't going to have her be relevant at all, even though her sister Regina will be in it. So do you guys, just like the trailer was set up from a business and marketing perspective as well, I really think 
all the trailers should have been done like this. And um, if you're fans of Cinderella, what do you think her and Tiana are going to be up to? So anyway, share your thoughts about the trailer in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my review, and we'll talk real soon. All right, guys. Bye.